Right now we are standing here with Mikey Granger and Charlie the Clown. Yeah, basically what we've done is we've put together online. We've got, we've gone online. We've gone out to all our friends, family, fans, and stuff like that. From we did, we did this big thing with MTV last year where we where Quentin Tarantino and MTV put on this big like contest about spoofing a Tarantino scene. So we won this thing, and we ended up on MTV last year and doing this spoof contest and this and that and the other thing, and uh, it led us to led us to like a lot of success and a lot of notoriety around. And basically, what we ended up doing was saying like, let's make our own TV show. Yeah. And we took two of our characters that we created about probably five years ago. These two guys, Charlie and Sprinkles, who are rat, ex Rat Pack clowns. Who they're, they're clowns, but they're ex Rat Pack guys, all class, looking for rat and. You know what I mean? Coming at you. And coming at you strong. Uh, but going back to the plot, the, the, the theme, one of the clowns are both, they, they're they secluded for a while, then they come back? Basically what it is, is it's going to be a sort of a business as usual night on the set. And it's a... Episode one. It's episode one. 20. Yeah, it's episode one of season 20. Um, everything seems to be going as normal, but something goes terribly wrong and the show goes from being like a broadcast um it goes from being a broadcast um talk show like you would see letterman or something like that or like like a what's the carson you know you'd watch those shows it goes from being that to suddenly being like okay here's the reality of what's going on but behind the stage as well yeah. so it's kind of like a larry sanders show in that oh, way okay you know what i mean oh, okay cool. so it's like here's what's going on up front and then all of a sudden something goes terribly wrong and here's what's going on backstage, and here's how they solve this problem. And the way they solve the problem might not be as uh, Christian Christian as <laughs> one would hope. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a way to look at it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How does that whole dynamic play out, you guys being brothers? Is there a certain advantage to that? You guys know each other so well, so maybe it allows you to work a certain way. Oh. Uh, you know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Does it also create tension at times um, on set? Since, since we've been very young, we've criticized each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've always had a, a bizarre relationship as brothers. A lot of people don't understand. Like, we are best friends. We are brothers. We are co-workers. It's a really weird relationship we have that I, I know a lot of brothers don't have. Oh. Um, I've learned everything I've learned from him. Oh, okay. From his... Because he's old and he's done a lot of stuff. But no, he, he's, he's, had, he's had 12, 15 years in the film industry and everything he's learned from his superiors, he's passed down to me. Oh, okay. And we've got such a good working relationship where a problem will arise in the screenwriting and we don't look at it as a problem. We look at it as a chance to do something creative yeah. and fun yeah. and just go, okay, well, this this doesn't work. Let's go and do some and, rock and roll and do this. And, it didn't, and it, it didn't take much to get there either. Like, it wasn't like we had to, like, figure out our relationship. It was just our relationship was there, and it just worked. Oh. And it was and that was it. It was just like a, a machine that just worked the first time you did it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, um, uh, we we don't argue about if if something I write stinks. Yeah. He is more than happy to go, dude, that stinks. And I'm more than happy to go, okay, why does it stink? He'll tell me why it stinks. And then we fix it. And, and, and there's no offense there. There's no, there's no weird, there's no weirdness. There's no like, there's no ego and there's no, and I think that that's the success of it is that there's no ego in what we do. It's at all. Like even like, and, and, and we take that relationship with each other and take it into our professional relationships with our director and our other actors and we say like okay treat this the way you would treat it if if Mikey was criticizing something Matt wrote or vice versa mm -hmm. you know we look at our director or our other guys like that as well and we say like and it, and it actually helps our relationships with others saying like you know what I mean like taking that same attitude and putting it onto other people we, we, we really believe that creative creativity is a collaborative art yeah. So you can sit there and create something, but unless you get outside input, that might make it better. Yeah. Totally. Why? Why would you turn away that? So yeah. it's you surround yourself with people 
who understand the project, like yeah. our director Gary and our line producer and our our, yeah. our art designer, and they all understand the project, and we're all willing to concede the the fight and say you're right. And it's, and it's not an ego thing. It's it's. No. I think I think that that's the greatest the success you'll find here is that there's no ego in it. Like no one, like not a single one of the people involved in this has brought any of their own ego to it. It's, you know, I get 10 emails a day from my director that are like, hey, what do you guys think? And sometimes it's yes and sometimes it's no. And, you know, sometimes my no is overruled with everybody else's yeses. And it means nothing. It means the project's going to be awesome. You know, it means we're going to do better. And it's great. Is there a link the listeners can go to if they yeah. like more information? And you can look up uh, the Charlie the Clown show. It's, it's um, Indiegogo.com, the slat. The dash Charlie dash clown the no duh d I don't even know it's so hard to say <laughs> Charlie dash duh d a so clown can do it I can't do it you either it's weird it either. Charlie duh clown you know what yeah. the other thing is there's a Facebook group if you look up the Facebook group uh, the Granger Bros B R O S yeah. you will find us very very easily very very easily uh, listeners we were just speaking to Matt Granger Charlie the clown. Mikey Ranger, Spankos. Four. The Charlie the Clown Show. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, it's it's going to blow them away. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks, dude. Thanks so much. It's awesome.